Tonic Sol Fa is a pedagogical technique for teaching sight singing, invented by Sarah Ann Glover of Norwich, England and popularized by John Caron who adapted it from a number of earlier musical systems. It uses a system of musical notation based on movable do sol fa ge, whereby every tone is given a name according to its relationship with other tones in the key, the usual staff notation is replaced with anglicized sol fa ge syllables or their abbreviations. Do is chosen to be the tonic of whatever key is being used. The original sol fa sequence started with ut, which later became do. By the end of the 19th century, this notation was very widespread in Britain, and it became standard practice to sell sheet music with a tonic sol fa notation included. Some of the roots of tonic sol fa may be found in items such as the use of syllables in the 11th century by the monk Guido di Arezzo, the cipher notation proposed by Jean Jacques Rousseau in France in 1746, its further development by Pierre Garlin and popularization by Oima Copyright Paris and Emile Shiva Copyright and, the Norwich Sol Fa of Sarah Ann Glover of England. Reverend John Curran was instrumental in the development of tonic Sol Fa in England, and was chiefly responsible for its popularity. When John Windit printed the 1594 edition of the Sternhold and Hopkins Psalter, he added the initials of the six syllables of Guido underneath the note. Windit explained, I have caused a new print of note to be made with letter to be joined to every note whereby thou mayest know how to call every note by his right name, so that with a very little diligence thou mayest more easily by the viewing of these letters, come to the knowledge of perfect solfeing. Rousseau, Caron and others would have been aware of this popular psalter. B. C. Unsel and Theodore F. Swood, with Bigelow and Main Publishers, imported Caron's tonic sulfar to the United States, though the method was never widely received. Prior to this, the ninth edition of the Bass Psalm book had appeared with the initials of four note syllables underneath the staff. Reverend John Tufts, in his An Introduction to the Singing of Psalm Tunes in a Plain and Easy Method, moved the initials of the four note syllables onto the staff in place of regular notes, and indicated rhythm by punctuation marks to the right of the letters. These may be considered American forerunners of Curran's system, though he may not have been aware of them. Tuft's introduction was popular, going through several editions. Nevertheless, his work probably did more to pave the way for shape notes. When Unseld and Stewart introduced tonic sol fa in the late 1800s, it was considered something new. In 1972 Roberto Goita printed one of the most important modern versions of the method in Cantar Legendo with the movable do. Summization that represents the functions of pitches is called functional summization. All musicians that use functional summization use do to represent the tonic in the major mode. However, approaches to the minor mode fall into two camps. Some musicians use do to represent the tonic in minor, whereas others prefer to label the tonic in minor as la. Both systems have their advantages, the former system more directly represents the scale degree functions of the pitches in a key. The latter more directly represents the intervals between pitches in any given key signature. Examples, the beginning of the conversation towards the end of the Steven Spielberg motion picture Close Encounters of the Third Kind uses both verbal and hand signals. References, The Teacher's Manual of the Tonic Sol Fa Method, Dealing with the Art of Teaching and the Teaching of Music, by John Caron ISBN 0-86314-118-8. External links, The Curran Method, Professor Warren Steele's website.